you may notice that I've taken off my armor. It's because I'm toting around a whole pack full of weapons. I basically went to Thomas, I got rid of all of my upgrade materials and armor and rings, and I took as many weapons as I could carry and came to talk to Blacksmith Ed here. What? Be a, could it be a blacksmith? And there are a whole bunch of interesting things available. So let's take a look. Alright, so Longsword plus three can upgrade along several different paths. The kind of standard Longsword one, the quality path, which Boldwin also offers, and then Dragon, which I have, and Crushing, which I have on an axe, which is a like strength boost, a uh, fire and strength boost. I upgraded this Dragon Longsword one more time. So here's one of the interesting ones. A broken sword can upgrade to a blue blood sword which does, let's see, 100 physical, 100 magic, scales on strength, faith, and magic, or intelligence. It has 18 requirements across the board. Um, but it uses a pure blood demon soul, and here's the interesting thing. That soul looks like it belongs to Maiden Estrat, or a s I think that's just a misspelling. I think that's supposed to be made in Estrella. Who the Disciple of God told me about a while ago. So she, um... She was like a devout follower of, like, our God, I guess. And they were questioning whether she turned into a demon or not. Well, <laughs> this pretty much confirms it, right? So, she must have gone demon. We have to kill her. And then if I get her soul and bring it back here, I can get this blue blood sword. The white iron straight sword born from the soul of the demon May and Astraya. Endowed with the innate power of a human, it increases attack ability. Quote, a really precious person's sword. So, there you go. Keel Smasher, like a lot of the, um, like a lot of the sort of special items, like the artifacts, seems to use colorless demon souls, so that's kind of like the petrified dragon bone, I think, of of this game. Or maybe the twinkling titanite. That's standard. I bumped up the crescent crescent falchion one more level. The gripless also uses colorless. This sword uses colorless. I think I bumped this up a level, I bumped this up a level, and this. So Club can become a Meat Cleaver with the Swollen Demon Soul. Meat Cleaver skin. oh, I didn't even see that, Meat Skill, <laughs> Meat Cleaver has incredible scaling on Strength, Dexterity, and Faith. Let's get that. For sure. Yeah, the Great Club also upgrades to the Meat Cleaver. Uh, it looks like it has the same stats no matter what item you use to upgrade. Ends of God I think were colorless. Yep. The Wooden Catalyst and the Silver Catalyst upgrade to the Insanity Catalyst, which uses the Yellow Demon Soul. And that's... Intelligence... I guess it has better Intelligence scaling. But same Magic Attack is... oh, well that's... Oh, I see Magic Adjust goes from 118 to 20. Catalyst wrapped in yellow cloth, born from the soul of the demon Old Monk. This weapon sends the user into madness, wildly increasing magical power. However, it halves the user's maximum MP. If you cannot see what lies ahead, use it. So it says it makes it more powerful, but the magic adjust drops. Oh, it's probably because I don't have the um, I don't have the intelligence requirement. 
Let's see. So I'm assuming that that's the, um, that this is from one of the bosses, probably the end boss of the Tower of Latria level, since it's like the yellow cloth and they kept talking about how the king had the yellow garb. A uh, Dark Heater shield, I put up one, the kite shield is now plus nine. Judicator shield is colorless. Okay, so there you go. So it's sort of interesting, like we're learning about <laughs> some of the bosses that we haven't fought yet. And I've got a meat cleaver. So what were the requirements on this thing? 26 strength. So I could two-hand it right now. And it's slow. I do like that kind of strong, like, straight down, good for corridors. I wonder if it's got a, a rolly poke. Nope. Okay. That's good too. If I ever remember to use the back hop attacks. Okay. So, as I promised today, I'm going into the Archstone of Chieftain. We're going to the Valley of Defilement. Which totally sounds like a blight town. I've got my poison items, I've got my poison spell, and I've got not not wearing it, but in my inventory, a ring of poison resistance. I also have heal and evacuate memorized. So, there we go. So, first of all, the archstone is just kind of sitting here. A real interesting story to tell. Ledge down to certain death with kind of waterfalls of kind of putrid looking liquid pouring down from. It looks like we're in some kind of like chasm. Oh yeah, the good old wooden scaffolding. Oop, there's someone toting a fiery weapon. <laughs> there's the warning. You are going to be poisoned. Have some poison cure items. Alright, so we're going up out of the gate. behind me. <laughs> Whoa, 500 damage. All right. Oops, level looks like it goes that way. Ooh, there's a hole in the ground. Looks like it only drops me down one level. So, right or left? Right has treasure. Can I get back up there? Nope. <laughs> I'm locked in. Yeah, the hero's soul. These on the ground. Kind of half eaten. Deer. Kind of looks like a deer. Can you walk off the edge for me? Oh, goodness. Somebody's cranky. Okay. Looks like this is the only way to go. Oh, bunch of guys. Looks like somebody is waiting to jump down on my head. Oh, 
fell right down. I'm going to have to be careful using this weapon. It uses a lot of... uses a whole lot of stamina every time I swing it. That could get, that could get me into trouble. Morning Star. A hammer with multiple spines on a circular head, especially used by the soldiers of the gods. Succeeding the pluses of a blunt style weapon, the bleeding effect from the spines can be expected. A weapon with a high level of completion. Like an all around. Does it have bleeding? Yeah, it does. 100 bleeding. I'm gonna wake up. Looks like it might be kickable. Swing slowly. Another talisman of God. Widow's lettuce is plague resistance. I also brought a few of those. Actually, I should probably put those on my hotbar. This place seems plague inducing. to block with this weapon. What's it got for block? Probably not good. Ooh, 70. Not terrible. Okay. I feel like I've already probably missed a whole bunch of crafts. weapon. It does a ton of damage, but it's so slow that I'm getting tagged by everyone. So let's go back to the, um, <laughs> I do have the Storm Ruler now. Yeah. Try out the Fire Sword and the Magic Sword and see which one does more. Okay, Fire Sword on regular hit does 168. Magic does... 160, so they're about the same. I have a feeling it's going to take a whole bunch of runs through here to properly explore everything. I've already missed something. Get back up. Maybe I should put on the ring of fire resistance. There seems to be a lot of fire enemies here. I'm wearing the regenerator's ring. Kind of cancels it. Alright. 
foggy door. Means probably progress. Droppable. Let's try it. Excellent. I guess this first one is just going to be a kind of point at the treasure and run. Oh, there's a lizard up there, though. What kind of goodies these ones are going to drop. Uh, what is it? There's something else over there, something kind of red and... slime-looking. Oh, <laughs> it was not looking right in front of me. Well, that lizard's gonna run toward it, so be it. And I've already messed up. Oh, was that? That was some kind of weapon, plus one. Blessed Mates, plus one. Ooh! That has a B faith scaling. Ho ho ho! Standard hammer, it's great against metal armor, etc. As well as stealing the target's stamina and destroying shielded characters or carriers. Also, by carefully swinging and landing a direct hit, it deals more damage than normal critical hit. Plus, it seems cleric -y. nearly the damage unupgraded as it is. Oh god! For that, you go over the ledge. Let's switch these. Uh, dragon sword and mace. For armory things, for fleshy things. And let me throw on the thief ring. Try to kill that lizard a couple of times. Although I haven't killed any bosses on this level, so that might be the only that might be the only spawn of it. Oh, I should show you my world tendency screen too. the The Valley of Defilement actually is is quite bright right now after I after I logged in. No lizard. Um, yeah, take a look at this. So Stonefang is clearly still bright white, and the other three are not, but they're lighter, I think, than they were. Shrine of Storms is still dark. Alright, well, we're opening lots of shortcuts. Oh, we got rats. I see rats. Oh, come on. Strong attack, and I can. I don't need to do the back hop. I can just do a strong attack. That's the same move, pretty much. Okay. I just switched to this because it had a really obvious downward move with pretty good range. So indecisive. 
decisive. Like that. Oh god, you're much bigger. I'm fighting you in a terrible spot. Uh, this whole level is terrible spots. Follow me out here. Can you go through there? Yes, you do. Okay, this isn't so bad right here. A little bit of maneuverability. As if you're backstabbable. Oh, I'm one-handing the weapon. That doesn't work. Gotta use it in two hands for, for damage. There we go. Okay, so there's big ones, and they look kind of like small ones <laughs> until you're right up on top of them. me. Here you. I've missed so many places to go, I'm sure. Whoa! Oh, they're like... They're like ticks. You... Parasites. Oh, speaking of ew. Is pretty gross. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a big one. Chilling out. Oh god, these what are what even are they? They're like yeah. unidentified squirmy things. all the corpses. But I'm going through a lot of... I was just about to say, I'm going through a lot of fog doors. Oh no. Why are those things floating on the water? Oops. Uh, what is it? I couldn't tell you. It's a leechmonger. I guess those are leeches. Way down there with lots of loot. Can't leave. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Fair, I wasn't mentally prepared for a boss fight yet. I was still in exploration mode. Ooh. It's flailing wildly. I 
rescue me. <laughs> They're giving me it. Whoa! No, get off. Get off. Get off of me. Ew. It's training my life. Let's make sure we've got a supply of MP. Moon grass. Let's keep moving. Stay moving. And we just fell down. that one was going to be more of a problem when they kind of like chunk a faint stone. Let's take a look at that. Cold holy ore. So, oh, so probably for the, um, oh, wait a minute. Faint stone is, is HP recovery. Does that mean that this blessed mace has... Is that what this is? Uh, well, I'm not... I have no damage right now, so I can't tell. But I think this might have, might have HP recovery on it, like regeneration. So yeah, like, when they kind of give you a sneak preview of the boss from from so far away when you first come in. I thought it was supposed to be like you know, to get a sense of impending doom. But honestly that guy was <laughs> kind of a pushover. His attacks didn't hit me very hard and Boy, did he take damage. Alright. So this looks like our arch stone. Wriggling demon soul, which won't have any lore on it. Leech monger. So, let's go back to the nexus, read the lore on any spells that I can get from this. Well. You can have all these. But my rocks. Thomas is basically a rock collector. <laughs> is what I'm getting. Right. Uh, we'll drop off the storm ruler. We'll drop off. I think it's time to get rid of the crescent falchion. Drop that off. Get one of these. That'll do. So now that I'm alive. We are indebted to you, for you fight on our behalf. I should probably go die in the Shrine of Storms. Get that darker, and not risk turning the Valley of Defilement darker. Oh, how is the Valley of Defilement now? Oh, that's gotta be bright. That's gotta be the whitest white. Yeah, so this world tendency thing, honestly, is kind of a... I mean, I, I like... I really like the idea of having there be like quests up here in light and dark tendencies. I think that's cool. But I wish that dying in human form wasn't one of the things that affected it. Because it makes me not want to be in human form because I don't want to risk screwing up the world tendency of a world I'm exploring. And then not being in human form means fewer invasions, fewer, you know, health, like health points. And so. Like, basically, you end up playing the whole game in, in 
undead or, or in uh, soul form. Just because you don't want to mess up the tendency. So, I do wish that it was something else that made the world darker. Oh, what do you have oh. again? Anything viable? Spices. How am I doing on those? Let's get some more spices. Yeah, there's a ledge right out here I'm just gonna jump off of. I know, it's, it's so lame, like, to... to kill yourself and, and not get invaded, but... I really don't want to mess up the tendency... of the worlds that I'm currently exploring. Magic from the soul of the demon leechmonger generates a cloud of poison. Oh, really? Guess that's it. No, no interesting lore. Where are you going? So who was the leechmonger? I want to know. Like who who became the leechmonger, or was he just a the original demons? Do you have? Cure. Cures the user to recover status. A miracle from the soul of the demon leechmonger. Anti-symbol of the poison and disease that is built up in the filthy valley floor. Ooh. Is that like... Is that like, uh, antidote but also for plague? Because that'd be great. I could just replace it. Still one spell slot. Let's do that. God bless I need you. Do you have So this says it cures poison for 20 MP. And this says it's an anti-symbol of poison and disease. So let's uh, memorize that. And back to the valley. And I'm gonna start from the beginning again because I'm sure I missed a whole lot of ways to go. There was a whole fog door I didn't go through. I opened up like two two shortcut paths, presumably. So the start of the level is quite linear. Go with these ooh. We go up here. And this is sort of the only way to go, initially. Here's where the choices begin. Come on down. So I hopped down there last time. So let's... Oh, where are those? Are those bugs too? Yeah, they sure are. There's just bugs all over this place. Okay, there's a hole. It'll drop me down a level. that way. That was the ledge I dropped onto, so let's go this way instead. Right. Excellent. Place we haven't been. Healing items. There's more treasure underneath me. Oh, there we go. Here. Let's grab this loot. This. Ooh, magical dullness. I'm guessing that's the opposite of sharpness, so it probably makes my magic worse and but increases my magic defense. I would guess. Exactly. 
made by Jerry. Another, another Jerry's crafts. Let's throw this ring on. Flame is much stronger, but not, does not last as long as regular turpentine. Um, I think I was over this bridge, right? Alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm almost, sure, almost certain I've been across this bridge before. So let's keep going down the scaffolding. I'll take this ladder. I won't take the ladder. Maybe I'll just drop in. Interesting, I hit that guy for 280 and I hit this one for 200. And this one had just swung at me. Okay, it dropped down there before, so we'll get it this way. much, much better about not leaving items behind on this run. Oh, you can see that one. armor. And it's saint stuff. Oh, male only. Where's the fun in that? Saint's costume. White clothes of especially high-ranking saints worn when making appearances for proclamations or salvations while traveling. Strong fabric which is many layers of cloth bundled together. Oh, I want to wear it. I want to look different. Got like four lousy armor sets to choose from. These things even attack me. They just kind of sit there and explode when I poke at them. Oh god. Uh-oh. Plagued. Let's try to spell out. Cure? Does it cure it? Yep. Yeah, it does. Okay. Does this make my life tick up? Yeah, it does. Okay, figuring it out. Oh, that's 
not my shield. Darn it. Switch to your shield. Jeez. Doesn't take much. Spell for everything. Ooh. Wait, who dropped Keystone? Was that the guy or the rat? I would love to get more of that. Well, I have the evacuate spell though, so it's not, not like I really need it. Basically, a fresh spice is I have Splinter of Keystone now. <laughs> okay, so it's the rats that drop them there. Boss. Okay, so that gets us back to... here. Which is where that lizard was, I think. No, that tick was like feeding on this guy. Hmm. But this isn't the way through the level. So. Okay, here we go. Let's fight you over here. Oh no, you've got come, you've got friends though over here. Oh, there's a ladder there. Didn't see that before. my exit. Oh, come on, go up that ramp. Okay. I'm just surviving on magic spells right now. Didn't I hit this wall before? There wasn't a ladder here before. I checked it because there was that message there. Is this a tendency thing? I bet this is the the white tendency thing. Rickety bro. It's not gonna collapse on me, is it? Oh, I hope he doesn't knock out the bridge.
This guy's in tight quarters are pretty freaky. Up. Looks like where we're going. Sorry. <laughs> Remember how I said I wasn't good at platformers? <laughs> big ones. Can I get one of you, please? Boy, the sword. <laughs> Fire damage seems to just wail on everything. I got an is Isterella. Physical, 100 magic. Ooh, it's an A faith scaling spear. Ho ho ho. A hardened oak short spear it is one of the few revelations of the gods that exists. The possession of the holy knight Liziah. With the characteristics of a god, the user's poison and plague tolerances are increased. Oh, seems like a great item to use. Goodbye, blessed mace. Hello, Istere. Jagged bone. Maybe like the mandible of something. Okay. Do I have the requirements for it? Uh, do I have 18 decks? I do. Perfect. Alright. Ourselves a faith spear. It's pretty great, and it boosts my um, it boosts my poison and wow, look at my poison resist, 312, and plague is 51. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this and put on the ring of plague resistance. Actually, well, that's interesting. I found. I found a weapon, but I haven't found a person asking me for a weapon yet. It doesn't fit the pattern. And I have gone through this level from the beginning. Oh god. I don't know what just happened, but that just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Alright guys, that'll do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for the, thanks for the views. Uh, as always, love to hear from you, keep the secret. And I am going to play a whole bunch today, so I will see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.